Stephen McKinley Henderson has a long history with August Wilson's work. Now he's revisiting his Tony-nominated role as Jim Bono in Fences alongside Denzel Washington and Viola Davis. We're here in the heart of Times Square to catch up with the actor. Hey, Stephen. Hey, Ben. Thank you for coming in here today. Oh, it's a joy. You are in a gorgeous, gorgeous film adaptation of Fences. Ah. So beautiful. Tell me what it means to you as one of the foremost, and I say this as a compliment, but it's true. You're one of the foremost interpreters of August Wilson's work. Well, I'm in a great family. In a yeah. brotherhood. A, a, a great brotherhood, great fellowship of, of actors who have been very fortunate to be able to work on that great playwright. Tell me what it means to you to be in the film version of oh, Fences. I'm telling you, it's like my misspent youth was well spent. <laughs> uh, every step, I feel like every step, really, and I mean it so, every step of my professional life was to lead me to be a part of, of, this, of this film, and especially in Denzel's hands. And this film is a long time coming. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the screenplay is by August Wilson. He's yes. been gone for almost a decade. Yes. You're bringing August Wilson to a whole new audience. It's wonderful. It's just wonderful. You know, um, I, I, I had great fortune to work with uh, John Hausman uh, when he was starting at Juilliard School. And he used to tell us about Olivier when he decided to do the Shakespeare uh, uh, plays on film. Mm -hmm. And the, the purists who said, don't do that, don't do that. It'll be terrible. People will not do those plays. And uh, you know, that was absolutely ridiculous. Like we're going to stop doing Hamlet. Right, going to stop doing Hamlet. You know, but, but, but I think how fortunate I am to be here now when this wonderful actor happens to be poised to bring August plays to this much larger audience than has ever seen the work. So you've done, I'm going to say, like 16 or 17 productions of August Wilson's works. You've been in 8 out of 10 of the century cycle. Is that correct? That's that right. That's right. 8 out of 10 and some repeat. So, and, and, you know, so yeah, you're right. You're right on all counts. In doing so much of his work, what have you learned about his musicality and his exalted language? Yeah, well, see, I, I call it the blues iambic. And uh, and because uh, there's a blues poetic inside it, I mean you can hear it, and it, and it comes in threes. Like August would say, I didn't say that. You didn't hear me say that. I didn't say nothing like that. <laughs> and uh, and and so you you know Lloyd Richards would always admonish, you know, don't play the punctuation. You gotta take out some of the periods, and you gotta. But it's thought groups and breath groups, and it's phrasing. You you gotta listen to the blues. But the 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 real thing is wanting to be understood by the other actor. So, you know, you don't just make up the music. The music is directly connected to the need to be understood by the other person. And that's what drives it. And uh, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's really nice to, to do August. That's all I can say. I'm glad that you say that about the need to, to hear the other actor to listen, because Jim Bono, your character in Fences, is giving a master class in listening. Oh, don't you, you think? I mean, you are reacting. You don't have that many lines, but you're on screen a lot. Why, why do you think that's important? Oh, well, you know, uh, again, I think about Lloyd. Uh, uh, we say it's important to hear. And so if you're hearing, then you're listening. You know what I'm saying? So, but it's so important to hear what's being said to you so that you can be caused to say what you do have to say. But the thing that I really relish you, what, with what you said is the reason that you see me hearing the other actors is because of the shot that Denzel chose because he could easily have left it on whoever is speaking. But when he, he puts together this, this tapestry of this play and, and so many times, he, he takes care of every other actor, so you do get to see uh, many times what I uh, feel about what's being said because of his selection of shots. Do you think that Denzel Washington's understanding of August Wilson and having it in his bones because of doing it on Broadway with the, I guess I'll call them the adult actors that are in the film also did it in the Broadway revival, which you were Tony nominated for, do you think that allowed him to have more space with it to know more about it. Oh yeah, I absolutely agree and I'm, I'm sure he would. It, it was a wonderful and you know he asked for it because they were quite willing to do this film with with Denzel and Viola you know uh, sure. uh, without it going to Broadway. He said I think I need to do this on stage first 
and, and I'm so glad he did. He also gave us two and a half weeks of rehearsal before camera ever rolled. How long do most movies rehearse? Oh, <laughs> that's a Ten great minutes. joke. <laughs> no, no, but I mean, you know, uh, not, not very much. I mean, they may have some table reads, mm -hmm. but I mean actually rehearse. Be in the house, uh, tape out a set in, in the church, wow. in, in this case, and, and, and go through the play. Let's talk a little bit about the community of actors, the brotherhood of August Wilson, actors and directors that you have worked with, including Lloyd Richards, including Kenny Leon, and now including Denzel Marianne Washington. McClinton. Marion McClinton, of course. Uh -huh. Walter Dallas. And Charles S. Dutton, who you y yeah, yeah, not well, only did August Wilson plays with, but also did Death of a Salesman, right? Yes, yes. So you've done a lot of work with the same people who have come up with this, mm -hmm. I, I studied with Lloyd. I didn't do a play that he directed, but I but I studied with Lloyd, and mm -hmm. that was uh, for for three years. Just and Lloyd was that. champion of August Wilson's work. Oh yeah, yeah. And uh, but the, the the and the community of actors. It, who, who, if you had August in rehearsal with you, while he's working on a play and handing you lines and that, that that community of people, and then every actor that gets to do the plays, there's an Im immediate affinity. You know, with 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 that, but uh, when I think of what you're saying, you know, what 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 Ruben Santiago Hudson is doing right now. So Ruben Santiago Hudson is bringing Jitney to yeah, Broadway. It's bring, never been on Broadway. You worked on the play for years. You yeah, did it yeah, off Broadway. Yeah, six years, but but what he's got there, he's got a company of actors right now: John Douglas Thompson, Michael Potts, and the, uh, Anthony Chisholm. People Anthony who know Chisholm. and worked with August Wilson. Yeah, Anthony Chisholm and Keith Randolph Smith, who were a part of of Jitney way back. Mm -hmm. now, those are the two that are that are there. And Anthony was. I, when anybody asks me, so who who you think was August's favorite actor? I know it's Anthony Chisholm. I'm gonna have to. I don't get there's no even question about it. I know exactly. <laughs> you know, there's something special about the people who got to have August Wilson in the rehearsal room. Yeah. It makes me think of like dancers that got to work with Fosse. Mm. It's a generation of people. It will only be that generation of people, and they will filter down that wisdom. Mm. Yes, and that is a concerted effort to do that. You know, there's some really wonderful uh, 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 directors and, and educators, and Felicia Rashad and uh, Michelle Shea, and and Ruben and, and I are always trying to find a way to pass this knowledge on. And well, you're a teacher and, and a professor. Way. Yeah. And August Wilson is produced all the time. What's your advice to people who are do somewhere, some out, somewhere out there? People are in an August Wilson play somewhere. Mm. What do you want them to know? Wow. Uh, you know, listen, always always said that these characters spoke to him. So, you know, let, the, let them know, you know, let them speak to you too. Let, let the characters speak to you. And, and, and listen, to the, listen to the blues when you're working on this thing. Listen to the music, get the music in you. And remember your ancestors, See, because that's the thing. August really, he heard the people talking on the front porch and in the backyard and in the barbershops. And, and in the barbecue places, and he, he listened. And he listened to his grandmother and great grandparents. And I would say that to them too. Go to the oldest member in the family mm. and listen to the stories. And open up, if you have a family album, if you're fortunate enough, look at those pictures in that family album. Go back, find out what decade your play is set in. See if you can find a picture from someone in your family from that decade. But connect those dots. Connect those dots. And, and, and the rest of it is, if you're an actor, you know, Remember the joy that you wanted to do this, because it's that, that's what he wrote it for you. You know, he wrote it for you. It's not that you; it comes naturally to you. You have to be trained, and you have to, be, you know, be comfortable with poetic language. So, study the classics. You know, do 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 do, do Shakespeare, do Chekhov, and uh, you know, do all the poetic playwrights, so that you're ready for this poetic playwright who's who's uh, giving a gift to the world from your cultural perspective. So, fences is. Filmed, it's done, the work is behind you. It's being nominated for a lot of awards. Yeah. How does it feel to be on the glitzy side of Hollywood? <laughs> well, you know, it feels great to be out there because my grandkids just moved out there, so I get to see them from time to time. Although so all of these the awards are just an excuse to see the, oh, the kids. Oh, that's the <laughs> main thing. But, uh, but no, but you know, but it's really a breakneck. I mean, it's this job. 
I remember someone told me just the other day, Liam Neeson said, uh, he said, I, I do the movies for free, but they got to pay me to do all this promotional <laughs> stuff. And, uh, but, but it's a joy, you know, it's a labor of love to go and, and, and get to talk about the work and, and help promote it. Uh, but and I get to see your nice. castmates again. Oh, yeah. See, that's the thing. Get the band back together. And, you know, the new members of the band are, sure. oh, my goodness. The young you know, people. Javon and, and Sanaya, just, you know. All right, I'm going to let you go, but I've got one more question. Mm -hmm. Denzel Washington is executive producing all ten, well, the nine left mm -hmm. of the century cycle of August Wilson's work. Yeah. You've done so many of them. Which one are you really dying to, to be in? Ooh, now see, you got me like I'm asking for a job, but I gotta tell you. I'm not you. saying you're asking for it, no, but, but if I, you're watching, then Well, I have to tell you, it would be Stool Pigeon and, and King, King Hadley II. That's my first Broadway show, uh, and it was with Viola, she wanted Tony, and, and it was August uh, wanted me to, to play that role, and uh, and I so enjoyed it. So yeah, that, if We're just were, putting it out there, just, If there you were know. one, that's it. That's it. Well, thank you so much for coming in, oh, Stephen. What a joy. It's great to talk to you. Thank you.